Hi, this is Vaughn with Spirit of Health. I am going to do a video here on CBD oil, which is hemp oil. A lot of people have asked me my opinion, not that I have some special opinion, but people ask me my opinion on marijuana, on hemp. A lot of people have asked me that. I've never said anything publicly about it. So I wanted to give you some thoughts and some ideas, but I mainly want to help you guys understand the important benefits that CBD oil has to the human body. Now there's so many amazing benefits to CBD oil. You might think it's snake oil, you might think it's not true or too good to be true and it kind of seems like it is, but God's an amazing designer and he gave us amazing plants and unfortunately the government and some other entities have done a good job with their propaganda in making us think these things are bad for us or unhealthy. So I hopefully can help you with some understanding and maybe dispel a couple of myths. But CBD is called cannabidiol and CBD is found in hemp and it's also found in marijuana. Now just in general, of course, I am a fan of anything God gave us especially to use for our health and healing. Marijuana is certainly a problem because it causes people to get high and anything that alters the mind clearly is not good for us to be in an altered state of mind in a negative way. But CBD is different that comes from hemp. So let me give you some basic understanding here. CBD oil comes from cannabis. Okay, Cannabis can be marijuana and it can be hemp. They're two different plants. They're in the same family, but they're different uh, plants. The difference is, is marijuana is very high in THC, is what makes people high. And it's lower in CBD. Whereas hemp is very high in CBD and almost has non-existent THC. So in other words, hemp will, um, yeah, hemp and CBD will get you healthy not get you high. So that's really important to understand that it has incredible healing powers, but it's not going to get you high. There's With CBD oil from hemp, there's no psychoactive effect whatsoever. It's safe. It's legal in all 50 states. Um, a lot of people are worried about, oh, the legality and you can't do that or sell this or take this or whatever. Hemp is legal. Hemp's a big industry. People make hemp shirts and people eat hemp seeds and they got hemp oil in the refrigerator and there's all kinds of hemp related products. And again, CBD coming from hemp is perfectly safe. It's legal. It won't cause any issues. It's very healthy. Um, so it's really important to understand and the, the THC basically has never shown up on any kind of a test from hemp it has such a small, small, small amount. So you're getting the healthy benefits from, uh, from CBD without uh, the issues that come with marijuana. So that's why we prefer uh, CBD oil from hemp. Um, the cool thing about CBD is there's no negative reactions. There's no known level of toxicity. You can safely take it. You can take larger doses if you need to. Uh, it's not a drug, it's a food. Um, it's a plant. It's a food. Just like you eat hemp seeds, you can take CBD in a bottle and it's like a food. It's nutritive. It's not going to cause any negative side effects like all the drugs do. Uh, it doesn't create any addiction, any withdrawals, which come from pain meds and opiates, but also can come with marijuana. So there's none of those issues with hemp-based CBD. Now, what CBD cannabidiol does, it works with a system in our body called the endocannabinoid system. And the endocannabinoid system is a system that regulates the other systems of the body. This was discovered in the 1990s. We don't hear about it a lot, but it's a big area of research right now. It controls the nerves and the nervous system, which is hugely important for so many of our health concerns and struggles that we're having today. So we want to put things in the body that feed this endocannabinoid system and there's over a hundred known different cannabinoids in the body and hemp alone has 60 of them. So it's the largest known source of these CBD molecules, the cannabidiols that feed all these systems in the body that regulate how the body functions. So in other words, it's going to regulate the nerves in the nervous system, hormones, the immune system. I mean, so many of these important body systems that make it work. And that's why CBD oil is so healing and so powerful and so beneficial. 
Um, there's a lot of other foods that have some CBD in it, not a lot, but things like chocolate that everybody loves so much. Things like um, truffles, which is a, like a mushroom, like a fungus. Uh, echinacea, a lot of herbs has some CBD, but hemp's the highest known source. So let me tell you some of the benefits, the known benefits of CBD oil. Um, the main things it does, it's amazing because you think of what issues people are struggling with the most. I mean, what do people go to the doctor for? What do people come to natural health care practitioners for? What do people go to the health food store for? It's the same things over and over and over again. Pain, anxiety, sleep issues, inflammatory issues, and mood issues, depression. I mean, these are some of the most common things that are afflicting people today, and CBD oil helps all of them, all of them. That's why it's such a exploding field right now, and that's, um, it's so popular right now because it helps so many people with so many different things. And the way it reduces uh, pain is it helps regulate the nerves in the nervous system. So if you're in any kind of a major pain condition, even if you're on major uh, drugs or painkillers or you're having to take a lot of aspirin or ibuprofen because of pain, this can help you get off of the pain meds. That's amazing. Those pain meds are all toxic. They have negative side effects. They damage the liver. They cause other problems in the body. And this is healing, it's nutritive to the body. So who wouldn't want to take a substance that can heal their bodies and help them get away from these dangerous, heavy duty pain drugs that are so addictive. Um, they, they've taken a lot of people's lives, that's the sad truth. And so there's better ways to do it. Another thing it's really good for is anxiety. So it calms and relaxes the nervous system. So stress, anxiety, fear, worry, panic attacks, uh, helpful for people with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, incredibly beneficial for that. Uh, people have been through traumas and difficult situations. It's so relaxing to the nervous system. And the cool thing is, is you can feel this right away. As soon as you take CBD oil, you can feel it. And at, towards the end, I'm going to go through dosing and how you can figure out what dosage works for you the best. But So we've talked about pain, we've talked about anxiety. It calms and relaxes the gut. This is one of the neatest areas of research. People hear about leaky gut. It heals a damaged leaky gut. People have inflammatory bowel diseases like colitis. Crohn's is a big one. Um, diverticulitis, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. It calms and relaxes the bowels. People on prednisone, people on these other steroids to um, calm and relax the body, the CBD oil works and it works pretty darn quickly. So even with major inflammatory bowel issues, if you take the right amount within a month or so, you can calm and relax that bowel and stop those inflammatory issues and heal up your leaky gut. So it's amazing stuff for that. Uh, the other thing it'll do is it'll, um, it'll help with sleep. And it just makes sense. If you're gonna calm and relax the body, and calm and relax the nerves, it's gonna increase sleep. And we know sleep is crucial for health, for longevity, for healing, restoration, repair of the body. And without sleep, it's hard to heal properly. So sleep is really good. And it improves mood. We just had a gal here the other day said, hey, praise report. This was an older lady, I think she was in her 80s, and she started taking the CBD oil and immediately felt the brain fog lift and her brain start functioning better. So we're talking about all of these degenerative brain conditions, all the mental fog issues, all the confused brain issues. Um, this is very good at helping um, work on those various issues as well. So, and, and then of course I mentioned the mood increasing, so that would be things like depression. So CBD is awesome. It's, again, it almost seems too good to be true because it helps with so many different things in the human body. I think it'll be normal and commonplace for people to, all people take CBD oil just like they take vitamin C or vitamin D or whatever that we know is so crucially important for the human body. We're finding the same to be true with the nutrients that are found in this plant. Um, people with uh, chronic, chronic pain who are on narcotics that's shown, and, and when I say these things, I'm not just saying this based off of something I heard. Like this is proven clinical research. There's tens of thousands of research studies done on this endocannabinoid system. There's papers written, studies done, research documents, 
And so this is, uh, if you dig for it, it might not necessarily be mainstream news, but if you dig for it, there's all kinds of research on all these benefits. So everything I'm talking about, what it does for pain and stress and anxiety and sleep, these are all documented, researched uh, studies that have been done. All right, so uh, the cool thing about helping you to get off of chronic pain meds is there's no withdrawal effects. A lot of people when they take the CBDO just kind of forget to take their pain meds because they're feeling so much better. And, um, and again, there's no uh, addictive nature, which is the problem with so many of these drugs. Uh, CBD oil um, is protective of the body. So if somebody's going through chemotherapy, radiation, it's very protective of the body and helps protect the cells when they're being poisoned or there's an onslaught of that toxicity from those really invasive uh, procedures we're doing out there such as uh, chemotherapy and radiation. So it's good to help protect the body if you choose to go down that route or help heal the body after you've gone through that. Uh, CBD works on every part of the body. It helps restore tissues and cells in every part of the human body. What's cool about it too is it's also antimicrobial. It works on pathogens. This is newer research. It shows it works on killing strep. It works on staph. You can use it topically and has an antibiotic effect. People with Lyme's disease are having amazing benefits with Lyme's disease. It actually works on the spirochetes um, and the, uh, the, the Lyme cofactors. I mean, some of these diseases people have are, are horrific. And do we not think God gave us the tools and the things we need to heal the body? And so we really need to start utilizing these things. Um, CBD oil also controls the immune system. So if you think about inflammatory responses related to autoimmune conditions, if you can have something that calms and relaxes the nerves and the nervous system and also these immune responses that are happening leading to these autoimmune um, issues, it's hugely beneficial. It helps to calm down the cells and function at a normalized level. In general, what it does, it almost has this adaptogenic effect like we talk about with Chinese tonic herbs where it helps to normalize the cells and the tissues of the body to work the way they were designed to work. And so that's kind of one of the powers of CBD. So um, CBD also helps control the cortisol release from the adrenal. So that's Part of the reason why it helps so much with calming and relaxing the nerves in the nervous system, it helps with this cortisol release. And that's really important because if people have adrenal exhaustion, adrenal fatigue, it can help strengthen them and give them more energy and make them feel better. But if they have really bad stress and anxiety and panic attacks, it can actually help bring them down and calm them and relax them. So again, it's a regulator of the human body. So that's why we love it. This is something, you know, you can't make claims about what these things, you know, natural products do, but my gosh, the research is out there. There's documented proof and studies that show these things happening. One of the biggest benefits of CBD oil and why so many people take it, it's anti-tumor. It helps remove tumors from the body. That's just a proven fact. It's been researched in studies. It actually helps cancer cells start to kill themselves. It, 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 I don't know the exact science behind it. You could read the studies. I haven't read all the studies, but it basically uh, cancer cells destroy themselves uh, in the presence of CBD. That's the effect that the CBD has on the body. That's amazing. Anything that can help um, heal all these different things in the body, but also work on something as powerful as tumors, that's really amazing. Um, another thing, and this is where I've used it a lot, is people that have seizures. So the diagnosis would be epilepsy, but you know, just people are having seizures in any level. It helps them regulate and modulate these seizures. And I've seen people get off of the anti-seizure meds because of the power that it has to regulate the nervous system. So that's huge because that can take away people's life. And uh, just imagine being uh, diagnosed with epilepsy, feeling no hope, never like you're gonna be normal again, always fearful, you can't drive, for fear of having an attack. You can't work a normal job. I mean, that's really sad way to live your life. And, and unfortunately, the medical system, they uh, promote that false way of thinking that, that they believe that you can't heal and that you have to be on drugs your entire life. And that's just sad because that's not God's heart. That's not the intention of why God gave us all these plants and these different things we can use to heal our bodies. 
And so there's a lot of promising research in the area of helping it stop seizures. I've had personal success with that. I had a two and a half year old girl having seizures and the CBD oil stopped them. This is life threatening. The children thought, the parents thought they were going to lose their child. I mean, this is, this is like people's lives that can be affected by these things. And so it's so sad that the government's so against so many of these natural things and they try to shut them down and it's just, uh, it's just, I don't want to get into that, but it's just really sad what's happened in our, in our world. So what's happening is CBD oil is so amazing that big pharma, the pharmaceutical industries, are trying to uh, patent it, which you can't patent God, you can't patent natural products. So they're trying to create a synthetic version of CBD. They're trying to mimic what God naturally created. And that's what they do with all these pharmaceutical drugs. That's why they have an action on the body and people think that they work, but they're all toxic poisons. They're made out of coal tar. We shouldn't be needing any of these things. Now I know there's a time and a place in an emergency situation, but for the most part, we don't need these drugs. And so they're trying to mimic CBD in a synthetic version. Now that's never going to work the way God designed it. It's not the original form God gave it to us. It's going to be missing all of the other um, extracts and the nutrients that come in the whole hemp plant, which is terpenes and flavonoids and all these different components that make hemp uh, so amazing. So, but you can see that's how amazing it is because there actually are a couple things that are coming out on the market with the this synthetic version of CBD. And of course they're seeing results. Of course they're seeing things happens with it, but you're not gonna mimic what God gave us. There's over 7,000 known studies on the endocannabinoid system and 30,000 different articles that have been written. And a synthetic is never going to give us those kind of benefits and results. So the usage, let me go over the usage real quick with you. All right, so, um, However you use it, you just want to get it in the body. That's the bottom line with uh, CBD oil or any of these amazing plants that he gave us because there's not like a perfect way to do it. You just want to use what's going to work. And so there's capsules, there's liquids, there's sublinguals that go under the tongue and they're all amazing. Um, the sublinguals, um, they've reduce the, the particle size to make it more absorbable into the body. So that's really good for children, that's really good for PTSD, that's really good for a lot of issues where you want immediate absorption. Uh, the liquids are great straight under the tongue. You can also do the capsule version of it. I wanna give you just a rough idea on dosage on how much you should do. Um, two capsules three times daily, that's 15 milligrams um, per capsule. So if you do Two capsules, that'd be 30 milligrams three times daily. That'd be a 90 milligram dose. They found that works really good for inflammatory bowel conditions. Okay, a general rule of thumb is 15 milligrams twice a day. That's just for general health. Maybe for stress, for anxiety, you know, just various kind of low level issues to help with sleep. 15 milligrams twice a day is a good dosage. Upwards of 90 milligrams a day if you have some type of inflammatory bowel condition or more severe pain type of condition. And you can go all the way up to as much as 200, even 250 milligrams in severe cases. Again, the cool thing is, is there's no toxic side effect. The other cool thing is it works for every single human being on the planet. So just because you don't feel something doesn't mean it's not doing something, but if you have an issue, you're gonna feel it. If you have a sleep issue, a stress issue, or a pain issue, you're going to feel the effect. So here's the general rule of thumb. If you take, say, 30 milligrams a day and you don't feel anything, double it. Take 60 milligrams. If you don't feel anything from that, take 90 milligrams. And you can keep increasing until you feel the effect. Different people need different amounts. You're gonna to have to figure out the dosage that works for you because everybody's different. Um, everybody's need is different as far as maybe the deficiencies that they have in the system of needing these endocannabinoids. Um, also, um, you know, it depends on the person's uh, illness or their state of health is gonna determine how much they may or may not need. So you need to play with the dosage. Find the dosage that has an effect on you and stay at that dosage. So if it's 15 or 30, great. If it's 90, great. You wanna stay at the dosage that you know is doing something and working for you and healing your bodies. There's no known interactions with pharmaceutical drugs, so it's safe to take with um, even blood thinners and other pharmaceutical drugs. There's no known negative interactions um, with other uh, medications, so that's really positive. All right, so that's the benefits of CBD. I just wanted to give you my viewpoint on marijuana versus hemp. And again, 
marijuana, too many problems associated with it. Yes, God gave it to us, but too many people abuse things. With hemp, no issues, perfectly legal, safe, not toxic, and all those amazing benefits we just took. So I know CBD oil is a little on the high side as far as supplements go. It's a little bit more high-end product cost-wise, but it's so worth it. I mean, my gosh, people are living miserable lives on medications. They're spending money on these medications and doctor's visits. They have no quality of life. I mean, why not invest in something that's going to help bring health and restore health and healing to the human body? So I want to tell you now about, there's all kinds of brands, all kinds of products out there. You know, companies can't make claims that these products do these things. Now we can maybe say CBD does these things because those research studies have been done, but nobody's company can claim that their products helps heal all these things and does all these things. So I don't want to make any of those claims, uh, especially with this company, but the reason I chose the company I chose is because they've researched this, they've studied this. Um, the guy behind it has spent 20 years researching and studying hemp products before it was super popular. Um, he is actually a medical doctor. And so th there's a lot of credibility behind the research and, and studies that have been out there and behind this company. But again, we can't say that their product specifically helps with all these issues because, you know, everybody's product is different depending on where they get it, where it's grown, you know, et cetera, et cetera. However, not all CBD is created equal. And there's a lot of stuff that comes from the United States, like Colorado, which can be subject to a lot of herbicides and pesticides and toxicity conditions. The best hemp products are found in Europe, where it's been grown over there for hundreds of years in the same families, no solvents used. That's the other problem with marijuana and getting CBD out of that. There's a lot of solvents used oftentimes to extract it. That doesn't happen with these hemp products. So they're organic or wildcrafted, which means they've never been you know, touched um, by um, herbicides or pesticides or industrial contaminants or pollution. And um, they've been checked for you know, mold and metals and any kind of contaminants. So you want it organic, wildcrafted. These European farmers have the best stuff in the entire world. They don't use solvents or anything like that. And so the only company I know that's doing that, that high, high end, high, high quality stuff after researching all the companies out there is a product, is a company called Elixinol. E-L-I-X-I-N-O-L. So Elixinol, great company, great products. You can get the 15 milligram capsules. That's awesome. You can do the liquids. They have the small one ounce bottles and then they have the larger 3,600 milligram bottles. I always tell people just do the math. Start with the small dosage, start with 15 milligrams once or twice a day. When you feel what it does for you, when you feel how amazing it is, how healing it is to the body, you're going to want to jump to the bigger size because you get a huge, huge price break and it's a huge savings when you get the larger size. So I'd encourage you to get the bigger 3600 milligram bottle. They have a plain one and then they have a uh, cinnamon that's got a cinnamon minty flavor if you don't like that taste of that hempy taste. So I'd really encourage you to get the 3600 milligram. That's going to be the strongest one. You can also get the liposomal. Again, it has a little bit of a better, quicker delivery system into the body because the particle size is a little bit smaller. So those are really popular now as well, which you can just spray it directly under the tongue or you can put it in a little bit of a water and drink it. So we just really encourage you guys to embrace these things that God gave us. You know our heart and our heart's been for all of our classes and what we've been saying for years is let's get off of the man-made medical system. Let's get onto God's system of nutrition, cleansing, exercise, sunshine, water, and the plants, the amazing plants he gave us like hemp that will heal people and help bring life to people and give freedom to people, which is what we so desperately need in a culture that's so sick and so full of disease. And this wasn't God's heart or intention. And he wants you to be free. He wants you to use the things that he gave us. He's a good Father, he's given us good gifts, and we just really want to embrace these things. So I hope this brings some understanding of the difference between hemp and marijuana, where I'm at, my stance on it, if that matters to you, um, and just in general, uh, the safety and the efficacy and the benefits behind taking something as powerful as CBD. Of all the supplements we have out there, it's on the top five list. I mean, I might even say it's one or two, but it's definitely on the top five of the most powerful healing, nutritional, beneficial things that you can possibly put in your body. So I hope this helps. I hope this brings health and healing to you and your family. God bless you until we meet again.